My daughter makes cakes and wedding cakes sometimes, and she wanted a light studio where she would be able to photograph her products and put them online. So I began to think about it, what it would look like. A box with a piece of cloth in the background to give it a no horizon look. So I started drawing up some plans, and at first I was trying to think of ways to make it foldable, but I decided to make everything separate panels. They would be held together with Velcro, and the lid would be very special, where it would house the lighting and things. So I got some material, like a sandwich foam board. For the base, I cut some dovetail slots in so that the sides could fit down in and it would keep it stable. I hooked Velcro to the different panels with hot glue, and the box assembled without the lid so far is what that looks like. Well, I ordered special lights. They finally came. The top panel, I built a box that would hold the hardware and plug, and under it, I arranged the lights around the edge. I tested the lights, and that was successful. Then I put a two-inch lip around the lid. This is to prevent the lid from falling down on the subject matter. The lights were meant to be for under cabinets in the kitchen, so there was a lot of wire, but I boxed all that wire up in that little section, and I would cut one corner out of the lid so that the wire could come out with the lid shut. And that's what the light box looks like with the lid. Unfortunately, there was a prismatic effect from the square lens covers that was giving off a yellow light. I took a couple of pictures of some objects. This is still before the cloth. So it was time to work on the cloth. Unfortunately, I don't have an iron to get out the factory folds that are still in the fabric. But my daughter says she'll take care of that. I had to cut the cloth and then paint the edges with some acrylic paint sealer that does not yellow, and that was to keep the threads from fraying off of the edge of the fabric. Then I took another piece of fabric, approximately the size of the lid, and put Velcros on the corner, and then I made little pedestals with Velcro attachments on the inside of the lid so that the cloth could diffuse the light. Here's the light box without the diffuser, and here it is with the diffuser, so it works perfectly. And here's the duck again with a cloth backdrop. Anyway, that's how I built the light box for my daughter.